start off with some words of wisdom from Herman Lee. Hey, Pixie, how is it going? I uh, hope you're doing well and things are good down Toronto. All right. Um, is your hair as long as mine? Almost? That's awesome. You know, keep growing it. Why not? I think um, some of some of my skills do come from the hair. Having that long hair, I think it protects you if you're shy and also you got you got an excuse to move, right? Because you're moving the hair. That's your excuse in case you, you worry about people think you're being you're being poser playing the guitar. But having that hair, you know, it actually give, makes you more animated and improve your stage presence. So I think it's important to have it. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't have long hair now when they play the guitar. So it feels like sometimes you kind of lack that other part that you do have the long hair. I don't know, everything makes a difference. So it's definitely, um, definitely affects it. I know it sounds really weird, but it does, in my mind anyway. It's like wearing comfortable clothes and not comfortable, clo comfortable clothes will affect your playing. Um, and some of my favorite gear, well, it's an interesting thing. I I would say, um, you know, it changes over time. My favorite gear is always, what did I say? Something that is small, easy to carry, that I can travel around to take on tour and and have high capability. Um, that's, so I say the most advanced, easy to carry, small and cheap. Because having a, something really expensive that if you lose, you can't, you, it's, it's expensive to replace, it's kind of pointless. That's, I would say, in, when it comes to the amp and stuff. So I have a camper um, that it's got its plus and it's got its minuses, but it's a good tool to have on tour. Um, I'm probably gonna replace that with something else. I'm always looking at um, different gear to improve my knowledge and uh, improve the sound. And that's that's really it. Guitar-wise, you know, I'm in, different places in it at the moment I, I have some favorite guitars but I don't really play them on tour anymore they're just my favorite because I had it for a long time when I was a kid um, so, some I haven't even played for more than you know 14 years they're one of my favorite guitars I think and it's in storage somewhere so that's one you see in my um, in my old video early Dragon Force video but they're favorite not because they're the best play guitar it's just a value in terms of um, sentimental value, I guess, in terms of my journey as a guitar player. Um, otherwise, yeah, really guitars that have some kind of special special thing about it. I, I do enjoy my, this PRS private stock there, this custom guitar. This is a really, one, this is currently my favorite guitar to play, um, combined with the look and the design. But um, I'm trying to make something better than that. So hopefully I can tell you my next, favorite guitar you know maybe next year when I have something else or, or I've played more guitars uh, um, yeah I think that that's 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 really it um, you know my favorite guitar is always the one I've done the most shows in that I've stage dive on you know done weird stuff jumped in the pool or play and played in the pool under the water all these kind of weird things makes the guitar special makes it unique and you know, because just like us, that that guitar gone through a journey, an exciting journey, not just like s sitting in, at home being played, sitting down. They have battle scars, and they've been, they've been at war. <laughs> All right, I hope um, you enjoy this story. Okay, thanks, thanks for um, thanks for sending Cami over, Pixie. Take care. All the best. Bye. Hi, I'm Pixie. On today's show, we will be trying Doritos Flaming Hot Nacho Tortilla Chips. And Flaming Hot makes me think of Dragon Forces Through the Fire and Flames. Do you guys remember when that song first came out and everybody had to be the first to learn how to play it? Speaking of Dragon Force, they are a power metal band. They are British. They were formed by Sam Totman and Herman Lee in the uh, mid-90s. Uh, power metal basically combines heavy metal, speed metal, and symphonic metal. Their sound is generally uplifting and they also incorporate uh, retro video game sounds into their music. Some songs you might want to check out from them are Cry Thunder, Through the Fire and Flames, and Midnight Madness. Okay, let's get into these chips. Let's cut them open. All right, let's do a bit of a sniff test here. Hmm. 
not much of a smell coming from them or an aroma. There they are in the bowl so you can get a look at how uh, much seasoning they have on them. So they are quite red, uh, indicating the level of heat perhaps. Let's get a really red one and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece off of it. Whoa, that's a little bit of an uncomfortable burn there. Uh, first, it kind of tastes like your typical kind of nacho, and you get that sort of cheesy um, taste that you get from those like nachos with cheese that you get at a movie theater or bowling alley, and then you get this really uncomfortable burn in the back of your throat. It kind of tastes like Frank, uh, Frank's red hot sauce kicking you there. Let's kind of see what happens here. How much heat can I take? Very cheesy. I like the level of cheese on that. I like the level of heat. I would say it's a medium level. I mean, it's not for those who, you know, like a mild heat level, but it's not so insane or intense that my eyes are watering or I'm going deaf from it or anything like that. So I do say this is a fun and enjoyable snack. I would give this an eight out of 10 horns in the air. Definitely pick it up, put it out, uh, pretend it's a regular uh, Dorito and see how many of your friends you can fool and uh, see the flame come out of their ears, bit of flames and smoke. Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite Dragon Force songs are. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay metal.